Hello, this is Madhuri Padya. We will discuss about the merits of connecting fabric interconnect on and host mode. What was the existing problem? The problem was when you have multiple vSANs, let's say servers in vSAN 1, 2, 3 and 4, because you can have only one uplink in one vSAN, you would need to provision multiple uplinks for those multiple vSANs. So with the in-host mode, you ultimately have simplicity of management. What happens is the FI doesn't appear as a FC switch that needs to be managed as a switch. We also use standard based NPIV attachments to F ports for better interrupt facilities. What happens in NHOST mode is when Cisco UCS is connected to Cisco upstream with network like a fiber channel network with Cisco MDS, you get to do a couple of things like F port channeling and trunking. We still have fabric interconnect in NHOST mode connected to MDS. To illustrate this, we have got server 2 in vSAN 2 and server 1 in vSAN 1. Before we had to have individual fiber channel uplinks per vSAN. But now we can put the uplinks and create a port channel and still attach that port channel to an F port upstream on the MDS switch. This is an F port channeling which allows me to take two physical FC links and bundle them together into a single port channel. In that way, when the server is basically pinned to an uplink, it's pinned to a port channel uplink. So some of the flows use one physical link and other flows will use another physical link. So you have basic server load balancing across multiple fiber channel uplinks. One server has access to all the bandwidth in the port channel, not just one physical link. And that load balancing is done based on fiber channel exchange IDs. And it will be per flow hashing with some fiber channel flows on one link and other fiber channel flows in other link. Along with making a port channel, we can also make this a trunk as well. What do I mean by trunk is, you can have multiple vSANs running on the single logical unit. We got server 1 in vSAN 1 and server 2 in vSAN 2. And both of them have been pinned to the single fiber channel logical port channel link. And because this is a port channel, they can also load balance on a per flow basis across each physical link. And they're both on different vSANs, making it more effective with better resiliency as well. By resiliency, I mean if one of these physical links were to fail, the servers would not see any effect on their VHPs.